All right, and welcome back. The last conversation of the day, this right here, is all about matters road safety. This year alone, uh, the National Transport and Safety Authority, NTSA, has reported 3,056 lives lost between January 1st to uh, 27th of August this year. The number has actually uh, shoot up from 2,910 deaths that were recorded last year. So that means something is off and we need to do something about our road safety. And to help further this conversation, we're being joined by Martin Mburu. He's a road safety activist. Karibu sana, Martin. Thank you so much, Sakwa. Uh -huh. And I'm happy to be at Y24. Fantastic, Y254. Yes. Karibu sana. Yes. Now let's get to know you a little bit. Um, you wear many hats. You're a musician, but then you're using music yeah. to advocate for road safety. Yeah. Uh, you've just told me you've been in this journey for the last nine years, just yes. close to a decade. Yeah. Um, I've just read to your report that says 3,056 lives have been lost this year between January 1st of this year yeah. to 27th of August. This is just a month ago, literally yeah. two, two now, yeah? What is happening on our roads? Are Kenyans not privy to road safety rules? Uh, what is happening? Is it the transport sector that's not, you know, helping? What exactly do we need to do? Uh, let me just say it's very sad, mm -hmm. very sad to hear that report because um, any life lost matters. Mm -hmm. Any life lost matters because we lose a relative, we lose a friend, we lose a parent, we lose mm -hmm. a worker, we lose a boss. Yeah. And it is very sad. Mm -hmm. Because when these issues are being mentioned of road safety, mm -hmm. they are very paramount. Okay. In terms of when we, ha we have these issues as, as a continuous occurrence, then right. it shows that there is a very big problem. Mm -hmm. And it is a problem that needs to be addressed mm -hmm. and to be solved. And that's why we are here. Yes, absolutely. Because, and also road safety is not only a, 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 an individual responsibility, but also a collective responsibility mm -hmm. in terms of advocating mm -hmm. and also not only the, theoretically, but also practically. Mm -hmm. Now, the question begs is that, wh how did we get here? Mm. How did we get here? 3,056 is a lot. This it is, is just for the better half of the year. Mm -hmm. And let me say this. Mm -hmm. The issue, we might blame all the, other, all the other authorities. We can blame NTSA, we can blame the Matatu, we can blame the police. Kenha, Kura, you know. It, it, uh -huh. it does not solve anything. Uh -huh. Now the question is, what am I as an individual, right. as a driver, mm -hmm. as a pedestrian, as, as, a, passenger. as a cyclist, mm -hmm. as a passenger, mm -hmm. what am I doing? Right. That is the question. Mm -hmm. Because... Well, I don't, think, I don't think that it is, it is I who sees only that, mm -hmm. but Kenyans are used to that issue of blaming. Mm. It is that person who should be, uh, should be questioned, that mm -hmm. another person, it is, your res it is my responsibility, I. Mm. And mm -hmm. it is I to ask myself, what is my problem? Mm. Why am I getting into this? Mm. That is where the issues are. Mm. Is it possible for us to alleviate uh, and permanently combat road carnages? Because uh, when uh, Transport Cabinet Secretary, former, former, yeah, yeah uh -huh. Kipchuba Mukomen was uh -huh. there, they said, oh, there's some roads that need repair. Yeah. They even came up, the expressway was somebody else's project. Of yeah. course, we are not getting into that yeah. stuff at that yeah. <laughs> of who, who owns yeah. <laughs> the expressway. But they thought it could be there maybe to also ease traffic and be an alternative as, you know, compared to just normal usage of the normal roads. But mm -hmm. and then when you look at even foot bridges mm -hmm. and even cross, cross, uh, f foot cross paths or yeah. uh, the cro crossing sides, yeah. there's people who forfeit that and they opt to cross at wrong sections of the road. Mm -hmm. Is it because there's not enough civic education or just people are ignorant and they're not paying close attention to their safety? Mm -hmm. And then the issue of even unroadworthy vehicles. Mm -hmm. You're getting into a matatu, you're going to your you know, uh, design destination. Mm -hmm. Should you also observe and say, you know what, this matatu, no, I'm not going to use it today. Maybe let me wait for another one. Yeah. Imagine you're in a rush, you're heading to an interview, yeah. a job somewhere, yeah. and you, you have no idea this matatu is overloaded. You get in and you have to stand. Yeah. 15 minutes into it, a road accident happens ahead of you. Lives lost, people injured. Where do we address this? Um, I would just say that everything that we do is a choice. Uh -huh. It's a choice. Why do I have to tackle it from that point? Mm -hmm. As an individual, you have a choice okay. to wait until your time comes. Mm -hmm. Patience. Mm -hmm. Why would you need to get into an overloaded vehicle? Mm -hmm. 
okay, why do you need to be an overload in the first place? Mm. Secondly, if you know that that car is full to capacity, then why do you need to force yourself to get into that vehicle? Mm. If you knew you wanted to go somewhere or you needed to get somewhere, mm. then get out early, go at the bus station, wait, or if you still need to drive, then get out early and mm. you get safe. Yeah. Why is this rush at the end of the day? Right. It is, let me just say, it is, it is um, a behavior mm. that is formed within the people. Mm. Is it the Kenyan people specifically? Not only the Kenyan people. This is it's not just an way. issue about the Kenyan people. It's okay. about the African people. All oh, Africans. Mm -hmm. Because this issue is not only in Kenya. Right. Take, mm -hmm. for example, there is, a, there, there is a, uh, these vehicles that are made in Germany. Mm -hmm. And there is a place that usually in Germany there is a, there is a road that they call the Autobahn. Uh -huh. And the Autobahn is a specific road mm -hmm. meant for fast moving vehicles. Right. If you feel that you want to move fast, you go to that section of the road mm -hmm. and you drive. Mm -hmm. There's also this, thing, this one thing that is called the BMW. It mm. is, I, I came to initially know it's called Bavaria Motor World. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's mm -hmm. not just a BMW, Bavaria Motor World. Mm. Why is it so that these people specifically make these cars? Yeah. You see, in Europe, they are advanced in terms of transport mm -hmm. and in road, road, uh, road Infrastructure. safety. Infrastructure. Yes, uh -huh. and the structures, okay. the, the structure okay. they, have li they have kept. Mm -hmm. But whereas in Africa, we are more theoretical mm -hmm. than practical. But money is embezzled, bruh. <laughs> yeah. Money is poured and embezzled. This, well, on that one, I agree with you mm -hmm. totally. But here there is something that we are saying. Even as you are calling upon the government, mm -hmm. as an individual, I have a responsibility. As yeah. an individual, you have a responsibility mm -hmm. to practice mm -hmm. the issue of road safety. Right. In what terms? Mm -hmm. If you know that you are crossing somewhere, Mm -hmm. You don't need to be racing with the vehicles, then crossing all around. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You have a footbridge, cross on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah? There's mm -hmm. a zebra crossing, cross on that. Yeah. You need, you know, there are also issues that uh, at, at, at any given point, yeah. with the issues of accidents, most of these issues are, or the accidents, are um, human mystic. What do you call it? Human error. Human error. Mm -hmm. Sorry to say so, human error. Mm. Why is this human error? The question is, if at any point you own a car, mm. when was your last time that you checked that car? Mm. How many times do you service the car? Do you check the wheels? Do you check the brakes? Do you check the signals? Okay. How much are you able as an individual to take personal responsibility? Yeah. We get out from that realm of just blaming other people or mm. the government entities and mm. taking personal responsibility and saying, I, as Martin, yeah. I will take personal responsibility at my own level. Yeah. Most of the times you find that there is the issue of unroadworthy vehicles. What mm. is the issue about the unroadworthy? These vehicles are not serviced. It is, it is, it is the truth. Yeah. Okay? But they're in a sanko. They're in a sanko, it's a matatu, it's functional, it's making money on the road. You see the problem with mm -hmm. Kenyans is one thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are more of we are more focused on the money we make mm -hmm. than on what matters most, which is safety. Right. Somebody might have a, a matatu in the circle, yeah. okay? But the circle does not give you orders on how to check your vehicle or not how to check your vehicles. Theirs, they are only interested in how much members do we have in this circle? How mm. much money are we making? Mm. That is what matters to them. But mm. apart from these vehicles being on a, in a circle, yeah. they are owned by individuals. Right. So the owners, the, the specific owners of these vehicles, because I cannot, I don't think at any given point that these vehicles that are in circles yeah. are owned by the circles. No, it is only the individual who mm. buys the vehicle, mm. then enlists it in yeah. a circle. Right. So for anything that your vehicle is doing, mm. you, have the pa you have the principal choice of saying, mm. you can even give orders and say, my vehicle will not go mm. to work today. Because it's unroadworthy. Or unfit. Yes, mm -hmm. and mo most of all, you are the owner. Right. You are the owner. You are the, the, the one who bought this vehicle. Mm -hmm. And the management of the circle will not take you anywhere. Yeah. But at the end of the day, as the owner of the vehicle, uh -huh. what are you doing about your vehicle? Mm -hmm. Secondly, I also want to blame the drivers at one given point. Yeah. In the issue of human error, we have had cases of where a driver is fatigued. Mm -hmm. 
Especially long distance ones. Uh -huh. Very. Leave alone even the long distance. Uh -huh. Even the people who operate uh -huh. in a day-to-day -day basis. Uh -huh. This person goes too many times. The uh -huh. person has not had enough, enough sleep. Yeah. Rarely do they even some of them take a meal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some of them are under a lot of pressure from their bosses. Yeah. You must deliver this certain amount of money uh -huh. by the end of the day. Uh -huh. So this person, he will do all he can to hit the timelines. And that includes flouting traffic rules or yeah. road safety rules. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, and also at one given point, I'm like, sometimes we even append police, uh, traffic police, a lot of blames which they, do, they should not even carry in the first place. Mm. I've never seen any police officer mm. force or even at any given point. Well, there are some who do that, but not most of them mm. are bribed. Yes, you see them stopping and it's like on a salim, yeah. You're like, <laughs> how many times are they saying hi to each other? But they said in the morning, they're saying it at midday, and it's like they also interchange. So you're like, hey, wana salimi ana sana, bana. Hi. You know, what's happening? Uh -huh. Lakini, ile shida, like the biggest problem that comes is where uh -huh. you as a driver, okay. if you know that your vehicle has no problem, why do you have to go and bribe the police officer? Because they put that culture there. No. They put it. No, it is not them. It's the It people. is the driver. Oh, it's the driver. It is the driver. Okay. Why? Uh -huh. If you know that you have not broken any traffic rules, mm. why do you need to bribe mm. the police officer? Mm -hmm. Secondly, if you know you are doing what is right, mm. yes, if you have to be stopped, let you be stopped. Let them mm. check the insurance. Yeah. Let them check uh, the lights. Let them check the wheels. Let them check anything they want to check. Mm. The, the license. They take care of Even the insurance, the I believe. Yes. <laughs> they, they look at the expiry date yeah. and, and for how long it will go. Mm. The first thing, as, as a person who uses that vehicle, right. before you leave at home, mm. check the status of your insurance sticker. Mm. Then you avoid one thing, of the, you, you avoid bribing. Mm. Secondly, the last time you checked your driver's license, okay. what, when did you see the expiry date was? Mm -hmm. If you know that it is almost expiring, mm -hmm. in advance apply mm -hmm. for a new license. Oh, yeah. Or if, if there are those ones, I, I think now we have advanced to the, to the digital, digital license. Yeah. There is what we call the e-citizen. Mm -hmm. We need to go and log in, yeah. append the right, the, 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 the right... Uh, uh, update it. Update it, yeah. And get to know. With, yeah. Yes, with the, with the right information. Yeah. Yes. And that's it. Yeah. Because this culture that has been brought up, it is... You and me, as the road users, as mm. the drivers, are the perpetrators. Are the biggest perpetrators. Yeah, I want us to delve into because we are running out of time. Okay. Uh, thicker road yeah. is like an aeroplane, you know, runway. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, it's like the cars operating on thicker road are about to take off towards the tail end. Why is it so? Because I believe everyone is heading to a certain direction yeah. or destination on that road, but. Yeah. It, it looks like the buses are about to take off and go to the skies. Yeah. And then the specific black spots, uh, passengers are even already know. Uh -huh. Even the drivers themselves know. Okay, if you can't pass, slow down. But yeah. they're not slowing down. And it's interesting, you also have a song yeah. called Slow Down. Yeah. I want you to bring into perspective what's happening on Thicker Road and what needs to be done. Let me say this, that um, these are conversations that has been had very many times. <laughs> but... I also want to say that the people are under a, ro a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. As time goes by, the economy is becoming difficult. Mm -hmm. People need to put a meal on the table. People need to, to just do some extra and three or four, five things huh? yeah. in order to make life easier. So I think that one is contributing in, in, in speeding or in rushing. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I also want to say, well, it is a blessing for people to, bl to be blessed with cars. Mm. So some of them, I usually see them rush so that they are not caught on traffic. Mm. Yeah? yeah, Because the moment you find there is a traffic, then it means at one given point, mm. something somewhere will not, will not right. add up. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's why they rush on Thinker Road. Yes, yes okay. that, that's the reality. But many accidents. Accidents are there. Uh -huh. And... Uh, Personally, uh, according to my observation, mm. I've, been in, I've been in road safety sensitization for now nine years. That's a lot. That of is from 2015. A lot of years. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Mm -hmm. But one of the things that I've come to realize is mm -hmm. that some of these have been caused by human error. Why? Mm -hmm. Sometimes somebody is texting, you're in WhatsApp, mm -hmm. okay? Somebody is, uh, he, somebody has, um, is drunk, yeah? Other people are just so stressed yeah. in life. Maybe mtu wali amekuwa na mambo ambao hayendi vizuri. Let me say from the family level at one given point. Probably somebody has a problem with the wife mm. or the children. Somebody, others are so stressed. Probably your business is not mm. doing well. Mm. Maybe you are expecting such kind of a thing like uh, maybe, let's take for example, your business makes, and I'm giving for example, your business makes maybe a hundred thousand. Mm. And probably you have seen the, 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 you know, the revenue that you are making from your business has gone maybe to 70,000. Yeah. Then you'll be, you'll be left to, un to ask yourself, where is this 30,000 for? So yeah. at that point of you reasoning mm. on how to work out issues, yeah. you forget that you're on the road and on the steering, mm. and hence then you, con you go ahead and, and, cause, and, an and cause an accident. Or you're over speeding and you have no yes. idea you're over speeding. But, but one yeah. of the things I want to say is this, huh? uh -huh. as human beings, everybody has a challenge. Mm. But let's try to control things mentally. Mm. Let's try to seek for counseling. Yeah. It is one of the best things. Mm. And let us not assume that because you are going through a problem, you cannot speak up. Speak yeah. up. Mm. People are going through issues. Mm. You have a friend. Yeah. Maybe you have a family member. You have this right. person that you trust. Mm. You have even the church yeah. or even the, the, the mosque. Mm. Go speak out. Speak out. Them. But do you believe that is the greatest cause of road accidents in Kenya? Unfortunately, that's, that's, that's one of the biggest. Mm -hmm. People are going through depression. Right. People are going through depression. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the only simple way, and I can say it, don't fear to speak out. Mm -hmm. Speak out. Yeah. You don't need to die. Mm -hmm. Just get out there and go and tell the sheikh, you know, sheikh, yes, I have this problem and this problem. Yeah. How, how, will you, how, how you are you going me? to help me on this? All right. And speaking yeah. of help, uh, yes. still because of time, interest, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you've gone off the grain, meaning that you're doing extra yeah. by even sensitizing people through yeah. music. Yeah. And yeah. you have a track called yeah. Slow Down. Yeah. What is in this track? And if somebody gets to listen to it, what is the info about road safety that they're going to uh, hone from this song? Wow, let me tell you, Sakwa. Uh -huh. One of the things that really drove me into, into music uh -huh. or into advocacy through music uh -huh. is because within my eight years of advocacy, mm -hmm. I spent five years mm. in uh, taking a word, going or advocating through the word of mouth. Mm. But unfortunately, I saw it's not working mm -hmm. because I need to reach to a bigger number, mm -hmm. but I cannot be able to reach out. Yes, I might be able to reach out at a certain area, yeah. but there are also other people yeah. in other areas that need the information. Mm. So what I needed to do is that what I, I have been advocating for mm. in terms of road safety is mm -hmm. what now I took yeah. a, as a way of we, what we call uh, infotainment. Mm -hmm. It is relaying information, but through entertainment. People love music, by the way. Absolutely. They love entertainment. So yeah. even as they listen to this entertainment, yeah. they get, they, they not get only listen to me, they yeah. get informed. informed. And yeah. educated, yeah? That's right. You wish Ango Kanayo was close to ed educating people on road safety? Uh, <laughs> I cannot say that Ango Kanayo is bad. Huh? It's, it's not bad. Huh? Yeah. It is good because the, the one who did it, mm. did it the right way. Mm. And it is like also, it came also with the season of, of what was happening. But then let the me country. tell you one thing. Uh -huh. If you've been in the world of music yes. or in a creativity, uh -huh. never dim someone's light in order for, for them not to shine. Mm. Let them shine. Absolutely. Let them shine their shine. You shine mm -hmm. your shine. Okay. <laughs> that's it. Uh -huh. And that's why I, I, by that I do listen to a lot of music and right. it's good. So in I the, love in the it. song, what have so you detailed? So in terms of uh -huh. the song of Slow Down, uh -huh. Slow Down is a call it is a sensitization call mm -hmm. to our people mm -hmm. what can i say about this it is i'm calling upon personal responsibility uh -huh. on our people nah. every road user and this is what we are saying yeah. una pombe mkono ni harununu skioni waende shagari kasi ukiwa kwenye usukani je umetafakari wangapi waweka hatarini punguza kasi dereva utafika salama je umetafakari wangapi waweka kwenye tabu 
Fata sheria dereva, no. utafika uenda po. Absolutely. Slow down. Absolutely. Slow, slow down. down. Please, slow down. Pungu za speed, <laughs> Pungu ufike speed. salama. Absolutely. Fata sheria, uh -huh. za barabara, uh -huh. utafika Wenda yeah. ko salama. Martin, we have to go. Thank you so much. <laughs> we have to go. So Please. the song is on YouTube. The song is they on YouTube. By the way, right. go, go and type it. At you can Martin. go and type slow down. Uh -huh. Go and type Martin Zalendo. Uh -huh. Z-A-L-E-N-D-O. Mm. Slow uh -huh. down by Martin Zalendo. Right. And not only that, uh -huh. subscribe. So, so. And let us share the message of road safety road to safety. our people. So Stop let's let's it. continue practicing road safety so, so. and let's keep safe on our roads. Thank, Thank you, you so much and Thank God you. bless you. Have a good Thank day. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, Martin Mburu, advocating for road safety through music and the conversation you can literally catch it on YouTube. We appreciate you, Martin, for Thank coming you. through. All right. Thank you as well. We appreciate you from exactly 7 a.m. to right now. We see you tomorrow bright and early right here.